today we are going to do the RC delay model uh, which with the focus on the capacitance uh, in an inverter okay so let's look uh, at the capacitance so as you know based on the model of the transistor The main capacitance are between the drain and the source, sorry, the drain and the gate, the gate and the source, and the drain and the source. So if we want to put in the capacitance in an inverter, what we do is we are going to uh, combine the capacitance in the NMOS and the capacitance in the PMOS. So let's add them here. So you have the capacitance between the gate and the source, which is S and S. CDSP CDSN Okay And you also have between CDG of N and CDG of P. Okay. So when you put in here for the inverter. If we assume mu n equals to 2 mu p, right? The resistance of the NMOS is R, and because the mobility of the holes are lower than the mobility of electrons, the resistance here is 2R. To compensate for the lower mobility, we have to double the width here. And the width of the NMOS is only W. So, the capacitance is uh, proportional to the width. So, if we have uh, double the width, that means the capacitance is also double. So, here is 2C and the capacitance here is C because it's proportional to W. So the main capacitance here, which is C, G, S, N, C, G, S, P. Okay, and you have this, C, D, S, N, and C, D, S, P. Okay. So what we want to know now is what is the input capacitance and what is the output capacitance. So if we look here, um, since the capacitance of the PMOS is double the capacitance of the NMOS, so here is 2CG and this is 2CDS. So if we redraw that, This will be C for this and here will be 2C for this and 
at the output the capacitance connected to VDD to C for this and C for this okay so if we look from the input right in AC and in DC analysis capacitance are either open or short circuit so the capacitance are not active in AC analysis capacitance are active and you must take them into consideration but the VDD, all the power rails, VDD and ground are DC. So they act like they are the same. So you can put them, uh, you can combine them together. So if we were to simplify this, we will have PMOS and MOS. Yeah, into one capacitance so you can add these two together because these both are DC the VDD and ground are both DC so you can merge them together as one node so this will be 3C and at the output it's the same thing this is 2C and C so it will be 3C so the input capacitance at the um, at the input of the inverter is 3C and the output of the inverter is 3C. What about the resistance? The resistance will stay the same like here. This is 2R and this is R. Okay.